Hello, boys and girls. In this video, I will be going over today's math lesson with you. If you are here in the classroom, I will be passing this out to you momentarily. And if you are at home, you can find this more or less page in your folder and get it out for this lesson. At the top of the paper, there's a line that says name. As you know, the first thing I do is always the same. Take out your pencil and write down your name. Do not forget to put your name on these. Now, as you know, we have been working with place value tens and ones. And yesterday we took a test on uh, what we've learned so far. When we come back from Christmas break, we will be continuing our learning about place value, tens, ones, we'll get into the hundreds, and so on and so forth. This page is to kind of help you continue to grow, Landon, your understanding of place value, tens, and ones. And you have to read carefully, Connor, so that you don't make mistakes. So I will do the first three with you, and then the rest of them you will do on your own, okay? So we're going to look here. No, please don't go fill your water bottle now because then you'll miss the lesson, okay? So Connor, taking a look at number one, can you tell us how many popsicle sticks there are on number one? Twenty-four. So Connor saw that we had two tens. One, two. Emma, are you watching? So two tens and one, two, three, four ones. So there are 24 popsicle sticks there. Okay? Now, here they're asking us some questions. They're saying, Emma, what if we added one more popsicle stick to the 24? If we added one more, what would it be? Five. 25. Good job. Okay. Now, if we had 24 and we added 10 more, it. now I'm not adding a 1, I'm adding a 10. How many would I have? Um, 34. 34. Good job. And the last one says, what would 10 less be? So if I took away one of these 10s, how many would I have? Blake? 14. 14. Fantastic. Now let's take a look at the second one. And Sage, I notice you're not looking, so you're probably going to struggle a little bit when you get to the on your own part of this. I need your eyes on the board so that you learn what to do, Mateo. Put those away. And put your eyes up here because when we get to the on your own part, I want you to know how to do it on your own. Oh, I'm glad you already know. Then let's do this one together, Mateo. How many popsicle sticks do you see here? How many popsicle sticks do you see? I'm sorry? How many popsicle sticks do you see here, Brooklyn? So Brooklyn, each one of these bundles has how many? Ten in a bundle, right? So this is ten, this is ten, this is ten, and this is ten. So how many is four tens, Brooklyn? Count by tens, Brooklyn. Ten, twenty, thirty. 40. So we have 40 in tons, but how many ones do we have? So we have 40, 41, 42. Yes? All right. Mateo, we have 42 popsicle sticks. Do you see that? Mateo, what would one more popsicle stick be? 
43 would be one more. Brilliant. Mateo, what would 10 more popsicle sticks be? I'm sorry? Yeah, so you, we have 42. If I add 10 more, what would I have? If I add another bundle of 10 here, how many would I have? 52. And if I take away one of these 10s, Drew, how many would I have? Um, 32. 32. I'm going to tell you right now, friends in the classroom and friends at home, it is very obvious to me. I can see very clearly who is paying attention and learning in math and who is not paying attention. Because some of you have this down like this. And some of you, when I look at you while I'm teaching, you're staring out the window or looking around the room or playing in your desk. And when I call on you, you have no idea what we're doing. It is so important, boys and girls, that you pay attention. When a teacher calls on you, whether it's me or one of your specials teachers or your second or third or fourth grade teacher, when a teacher calls on you to give an answer, you should be paying attention. So that you know what the teacher's asking, okay? And if you pay attention, you'll know the answers. So let's look at this third one here, because this is the last one I'm doing with you. The rest of them you're doing on your own. So if you're on the fence on this and you're still not sure how to do it, pay attention now. Sage, how many tens, how many ones? One ten, and how many ones? Let's count. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. So one ten and eight ones. How many popsicle sticks, Sage? Eighteen. What would one more be, Sage? Nineteen. All right. What would ten more be, Beckett? Twenty-eight. If I added another ten, I'd have two tens and eight ones. And Connor, what would ten less be? Just eight. Good job. Those of you that have this down pat, you should have no trouble. Those of you that are still a little confused and on the fence, I want you to try your best to figure these out and make sure you're paying attention when I'm doing the lessons from now on, okay? All right, friends at home, make sure you get these done. Take a picture and upload it for Mrs. Hatcoff and I, and I look forward to seeing your hard work. See you later. Bye.